What's up guys, Michael from CultureShotCollectibles.com and today we are doing our Q&A. First question comes from our Instagram follower, Blockhead91, and he asks, what is your favorite toy line series? His is Spider-Man the Animated Series by Toy Biz. All right, for me, it's gotta be what's right behind me, and that's the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers toy line. Let's check it out. So we are checking out my Mighty Morphin Power Rangers collection. It all kicked off for me back in the day in the 90s with, of course, these bad boys. We had the flip heads. We had the 10-inch figures. Um, we even had the movie figures from the 95 movie and, of course, the original Zords and, and Ninja. And there were just so many amazing figures. We had all the space evil space aliens as well, um, which were absolutely amazing. So over time, I've recollected a lot of these. Had them as a kid, absolutely butchered them. So happy to have them back in the collection now. Love the Ninjetti figures. These are getting really hard to find as well and in good condition. Uh, Bandai did so much good stuff with this line um, and using the die cast as well. So that was some of my favorite sort of figures. Uh, we've got, of course, the Falcon Zord there. These are little model kits. I got this at New York Comic Con. It was just a Bandai model kit. That was a lot of fun, just putting it together. And of course, we have some of the Bandai figures and some of the Hasbro figures right there. As we take a look up top, uh, some of the Hasbro stuff, the amazing Bandai stuff, nothing beats the Bandai um, you know, weapons and stuff like that. Just the quality is amazing. We've got the movie figures up here. Got all those in the US while I was over there, you know, over time. The Hasbro Morphers, Hasbro figures in the background and the remastered figures at the front with their Morphers and stuff. Having a look at some of the Zords, um, of course, Solid Jokokan uh, did some amazing, amazing stuff with the Megazord. Uh, and they did the Dragon Zord and I think Titanus as well. We've got the Bandai uh, Thunder Megazord, who has that leaning issue, but still an amazing figure. We've got the Master Morpher, the Tommy Oliver Master Morpher there. Some of the original, or not so original, the actual uh, Bandai figures as well. This is the Bandai Green Ranger helmet. Solid Jokokan, uh Dragon Zord and the Bandai... Uh, legacy morphers and stuff like that. Just amazing quality compared to the Hasbro ones when it comes to the morphers. Um, some other really cool stuff. 3-0 did amazing 1-6 scale figures. I do have the full collection, but, you know, space is definitely the issue. This is my little uh, White Ranger shelf here, and the Green Ranger shelf was just above it. And this is the Super 7 White Ranger. Pretty cool. Pretty cool figure, Super 7, never really played with those, but this is the first one I've ever purchased and really, really like it. White Tiger Morpher as well, and my Red Ranger shelf. We've got, of course, the Communicator and the Bandai Legacy Morpher, as well as the 3016 scale figures. This is actually signed by Austin St. John somewhere there. You might be able to sort of see it on the side. So that is uh, one of uh, the cool possessions in my Power Ranger collection. But for me, it's definitely got to be Power Rangers. It's one of my um, favorite things to collect besides wrestling um, and absolutely love it. 